Is there not the wider point here, which is it's not really about the fact that this year there happened to be no female artist named in the best artist uh, group, right? It is more a case of the fact that, as far as I can tell, just because Sam Smith came out as non-binary, they decided to change the whole thing. Well, yes, this is what it's all about, isn't it? You know, we can say, well, last year Adele won it, so this year they've made sure a man's going to win it because it's, it's fair yeah. that way. But what's happened is we used to have two categories and now we've only got one. Uh, so all the artists have got to compete together. And it just seems to me to be uh, bizarre that because when it comes to singing, male artists and female artists are different and, and complement each other rather than compete against each other. And why, you know, why have we done this? Well, we had some census data released last week, which said that uh, there were 30,257 non-binary people in England and Wales, which represented one in 1,600 people. And for that, they've changed the categories and put two into one. And mm. I just wonder what other group of one in 1,600 would be able to change the categories of the Brit Award. It's quite bizarre. Okay. Peter, why are non-binary people so special? Well, they're not more special than anybody else, but they are. Well, the, the, the Brit Awards think they are. They've, they've, they've revolutionised they've revolutionized the way they judge things, just, as far as I can tell, literally for one person in Sam Smith. Well, that's one way of looking at it. From a feminist point of view, you could argue that it's sexist to have male and female categories, that artists should be judged on merit alone and not on gender. So that's a very strong case to have just an artist of the year rather than male artist and female artist. But I take the point that we do have to challenge the underrepresentation of women in music awards and indeed in other award ceremonies. It's absolutely right that the many great women singers get the profile and the awards that they deserve. But I don't think we therefore have to say that let's stick with the strictly male-female categories. Maybe there should have been a new category invented. Keep male and female, have a non-binary category as well. Well, Sam are, Smith would win it every year. A few non-binary artists. We should have... A, but Debbie, I've not been funny, but by that logic, we should have a Patrick Christie's category and I'd come home with a Brit every single year. As long as we can have a Debbie Hitton category as well. No, I think, I think we're missing the point here. I think... Well. Why not have two gender-neutral categories, but one open to people of the male sex and one open to people of the female sex? Oh, great. Then presumably oh, through, Debbie, well, it's, it's, it's quarter to six on a Friday, and my brain at this point in the week is scrambled. Talk me through that. So we have two... You want what? Two gender-neutral categories? Talk me through well, it. Yes, it's the, it's, the, it's the fact that we've moved from sex to gender. We used to have okay. sex categories, so one for male people, one for female people. And okay. we move to gender categories, which means something different. Okay, well, okay, I see what you get. I see what you get. Sorry, I must say I find it hard to keep up here, Peter. I hope you're doing a better job than me of keeping up with all of this stuff. I, I, look, some people say there's a wider point to this. Even still, even wider to that, which is every flipping year from now on, we're going to have this controversy, aren't we? Did we really need to mess with it? Was it such a desperate thing, Peter? Were people really banging down the door saying we cannot have best man, best woman? Really? No, you're, you're right. There was no great, huge demand for a change. But then again, the judges, the governing body, decided that they wanted to be inclusive. And obviously it was very unfair for Sam Smith to be excluded last year because he now identifies as non-binary. And he is a great artist and you know he's won many awards and deservedly so. So oh. I agree, somewhere along the line, there has to be some compromises but we must not let women's representation fall off the edge as a result. And as I said, if you look at the overall categories of which there's about a dozen different awards, women are very well represented and there's some really great artists. I'm a huge fan of Kat Burns mm -hmm. and Arena Soyama. They yeah. deserve to win. I hope they will win in their categories.